assalamu alaikum so in the last class we discuss about some of the theoretical aspects of a pv panel let us see what a real photo photo photovoltaic panel looks like so this is a pv module that uh, we have used for some experimentation here at gic institute uh, as you can see here that it consists of 1 2 3 4 5 6 and this is uh, there are 10 10 pv cells connected here so this pv module consists of 60 cells in total so we will see what is the data sheet of this module as given on the back side of this module and we will also see uh, how many bypass diodes are connected here there are some other interesting features as well let us flip this panel to see what it looks like from the back side so this is the back side of the pv module it consists of some holes that are used to mount it on the mechanical structure this is an earthing sign here i will show you the the photograph here ground this uh, pv module uh, there is the data sheet here which is uh, shown uh, for this module this is a jingli yl 245c 30b module it's an application class maximum power 245 watt and uh, the more detail can be found out in the data sheet which is given here the important point here is that it consists of some series fuse which is rated at 20 ampere this is the junction box from this junction box we are getting two wires here and both of these wires have these connectors and uh, in order to identify which one is the negative cable there is a, a tag line here this is a minus we have written here minus and this uh, cable is for the for the plus side and it is uh, written here as well apart from this it it seems like this this pv module has six diodes here i will show you these diodes but these two diodes are connected in parallel so that they have the current carrying capacity equals to 20 ampere so in total there are three bypass paths for this module which which means that every 20 cells have these two uh, bypass diodes connected in parallel and moreover here we have the the fuse which is rated equal, equal to 20 ampere and the maximum system voltage is equal to 1000 volt which means that if we want to create an a string of uh, this pv module then we have to take care of this maximum system voltage level which is set at at 1000 volt so he, this is a power plant that we have established uh, some few months ago it is a 30 kilowatt power plant where we have uh, connected a lot of pv modules in uh, different strings uh, the purpose of this demonstration is to showcase you how this uh, pv structure is made what are the civil part here what is the mechanical part here how we connect different pv modules in the form of the individual strings how we can identify a particular string so these are a uh, few objectives of this uh, of this video lecture so here you can see that these pv modules are connected in portrait modality each of these are connected on this as uh, uh, on this civil structure here we have a concrete foundation here over this concrete foundation we have these c channels uh, which are drilled here through these nut bolts and they are actually creating a structure over which uh, this uh, uh, tilt angle is is set this tilt angle is fixed it is fixed something around at at 17 to i think between 20 degrees and these pv modules are modern as you can see that this consists of 144 pv cells connected here so we have one two three four five six and this uh, corresponds to one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so this is 72 cells are on this bottom side and over the other side of the same module we have 72 cells so they correspond to 144 pv cells now the orientation of this landscape uh, configuration for a pv module or for a portrait portrait layout it highly impacts the performance and working of the bypass module is dependent on area to area variation since we do not have any snow here so it is not of much interest for us that we investigate the orientation of a photovoltaic module for uh, for the snow coverings but as you can see here that the photovoltaic module can, uh, requires to have proper maintenance we have some sediments here that you that are visible here because of the dust and because of the rain we expect uh, heavy rain here throughout the year and as you can see here that we have some fallen leaves over this pv module and that they, we have some dust sediments which are which are now deposited on to this side so this requires proper maintenance uh, and cleaning of this uh, pv module and for this cleaning we have uh, we have this uh, water supply system 
and this water supply system is used to clean and wash these PV panels on and off as required by uh, our experimentation team. Other than that, if we, if we move back, these PV modules have their diode, uh, bypass diodes connected in this, in this junction box. This is a Jinko solar PV module and it can produce up to 545 watts peak. So each of these photovoltaic modules are connected in series to form an array. So these two wires are routed together and they are connected to form, uh, to form a PV string. Now the question here is how can we actually identify each string and how can we identify the total number of strings present in a given PV, uh, in a given PV plant. So for that, So for that, we have on, on this side where we perform the wiring, here you can see that the installation team has tagged them in terms of these numbers and these numbers shows their array number. So this is number one. So this is the string number one. We uh, have actually, we have uh, 13 panels on the, on the first row and this single piece contributes to the 14th panel in the string. So this consists of the of the first string. We have four such strings here with 14 panels. This is another string here. This string, this string is as you can see, we have number three here. So this is the third string, PV, PV string here. These clamps as I have explained in the last segment of this video that these are for the earthing so all of them are, earth, are uh, grounded here using these green wires and these green wires are actually connected on to the pit the earthing resistance was set according to the national standards and thereafter this uh, is used to earth the all the connectors using the using the green wires this particular side of the pv plant it is a single axis sun tracking system and this single axis sun tracking system is based on the uh, on the sensor and the sensor position actually identifies the position of these uh, and it actually alters the uh, it alters the axis of this solar panel according to the position of the sun so here we have the this is the fourth array as you can see here we have as you can see here, we have these sensors available and these sun sensors based on the input of these sensors, the controller adjusts the tilt angle here. It is mainly used for the experimentation purpose and therefore uh, it is right now under some experiment and I don't want to have any uh, you know, change in the orientation of this photovoltaic panel. So this is uh, for the for the today's, uh, today's video. I will showcase you the connection of the inverter and the scheme, other scheme when we will deal with the inverter section of this particular course. Thank you very much.